Hey dear, welcome to the Animator YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to animate a 360 degree head rotation without using any plugins in After Effects. So, let's start. So, before we jump on to After Effects, let's understand the basic structure of our head and we are using Loomis method over here. So, this is the front view of the head and this circle is where the whole skull will fit in excluding the jaw portion and this is the jaw line and this particular line is the mid section which cuts the whole head in uh, I mean it's bisects it in symmetry and it also intersects the midpoint of eyes mouth as well as jaw line as well so this particular line is the mid section of the eyes and this is the position where the mouth fits in so when we turn our head this mid line this midpoint of this particular middle line will shift and according to that we have to restructure of our head and by the way this uh, slightly oval shaped sh shapes on both sides is where the ear will fit in okay so by the way uh, you can actually uh, just distort your head or make new form of your, of your head by just changing the proportion of this particular structure suppose you can do something like this and you can get a new I mean a unique looking structure of head and you can basically vary the jawline and just uh, the vary the inclination so you can get rounded or any other unique type of or unique shape of your head okay so let's get back to our original example so if we turn our head this is the three quarter view so now let's notice it carefully you can see that the mid section has shifted a bit but the whole circle portion has is there in the in the same place but the jaw has shifted and the neck is also slightly distorted so you can see the jawline has something uh, I mean it has distorted it's, uh, this side as well as this side you can compare it and uh, so this is basically the head in perspective so we, we have to think it in this way and uh, the one eye will be over here and one one will be over here and this will be the mouth so this is what a head looks like in three quarter view so inside view if we further turn our head it will look something like this so this is the chin only one side of the uh, jaw line will be seen so add one ear over here this is the circle and the fourth quarter is where the ear fits in okay so this is the basic structure of our head uh, i mean if you want to uh, do portrait drawing or just character designing this will help you and this will also help you if you are uh, using uh, head turns uh, i mean if you are animating head turns such as uh, in this lesson we are going to animate head turn in after effects now why i just explain this uh, the bigger it's uh, the reason is behind it is uh, i mean uh, i am going to show you just using one kind of head but if you uh, just distort it and make your unique uh, character so so that you can also turn the uh, turn that characters uh, turn the head of that character around just by using the simple method that i have explained you right now so let's jump on to after effects now we are in after effects so i have already illustrated a basic flat style looking face over here so this is the hair layer and this is the face layer i have also come copied and pasted it bunch of times to apply it as a track mat so first of all i'm going to select the head layer and apply track mat alpha mat on it and after that I will just turn off the visibility of all the layers let's focus on this particular layer for now by the way I have separated the position property so if you don't know how to do so just select on the position property and select on separate dimension I have already separated it so it's a tick mark on it so right now it's separated all right so we are going to only animate the x-axis so I will put position property over here and after that i will uh, i'm going to rotate it from the from right side so let's add some anticipation on left side so i will jump on to four frames okay and after that i will jump on to 10 frames and 
it's simply the back side of the head at this uh, over here okay after that i will jump on to another time frames and simply put this one this is the neutral position so by the way don't worry about the timing for now we can change it if it doesn't look good later on okay and i will also add some overshoot to it so let's do that as well okay so let's check and preview the animation uh, i think we have to change this one to the roving keyframe uh, we can also add slight more anticipation to it uh, i think we can just speed it up a bit Yeah, it's looking perfect now so right now we are going to animate only the nose layer i will turn on the nose and i will put keyframe on y axis sorry x axis and after that i will do the same thing now there is a side view which will be there in between which is this one this is the exact side view of the head now this is the back view where I can copy and paste this keyframe. After that there will be uh, another side view in between. And then we can just copy this keyframe and add the overshoot which we have added with the here. Yeah it's perfect but just we have to split the layer from here. Uh, not from here from here to there so we need to move this below the face and everything will be fine yeah it's perfect so right now i am going to animate the mouth right now so i'm going to open the position property after that i will move it slightly over here and after that there will be another three quarter view so i will put it over here after that this is the side view and here i will put it and right now it will be outside this layer sorry let's move it and i will put this keyframe one frame behind and after that we will move and from here it will start again so i will basically delete this keyframe and from here it will start again after that this is the side view so i will put the mouth over here this is the three quarter view so i will put it like this and after that there will be the overshoot I'm going to add uh, this uh, this particular layer as the track mat and after that from here to uh, from here I will split this mouth layer and we will just split it again and from here we will uh, just delete the mid portion and keep the rest of the portion yeah perfect we got what we needed and after that the only thing that is left is the eyes okay so turn on the eyes layer so here i'm going to add another track mat to it i'm going to add position and do the same thing as what we have what we have done with the mouth layer now i'm going to add preframe on the scale property because when the circle is in perspective it will distort and slightly look like oval so we are going to do that over here
all right so all right so you can animate your 360 degree head rotation like this you can also add some elements and make your animation look more interesting something like this so you can also add more animation and just uh, rotate your head in three quarter view using same method so if you properly understand the Loomis method that we, which I have explained to you at the first of this particular lesson then uh, you can just animate any other type of heads of any other structure if you design it on your own so all right so that is it for this lesson hope you liked the video and learned a lot from it so that is it for this video if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the video then make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye